We have a choice about how we take what happens to us in our life and whether or not we allow it to turn us. We can become consumed by hate and darkness, or we're able to regain our humanity somehow, or come to terms with things and learn something about ourselves. We come to love not by finding the perfect person, but by learning to see an imperfect person perfectly. If you don't get out of the box you've been raised in, you won't understand how much bigger the world is. Life comes with many challenges. The ones that should not scare us are the ones we can take on and take control of. Anytime I feel lost, I pull out a map and stare. I stare until I have reminded myself that life is a giant adventure, so much to do, to see. You think, what if I make a mistake today, I'll regret it. I don't believe in regret, I feel everything leads us to where we are and we have to just jump forward, mean well, commit and just see what happens. I do believe in the old saying, what does not kill you makes you stronger. Our experiences, good and bad, make us who we are. If every choice you make comes from an honest place, you're solid, and nothing anybody can say about you can rock you or change your opinion. If I think more about death than some other people, it is probably because I love life more than they do. If I make a fool of myself, who cares? I'm not frightened by anyone's perception of me. Without pain, there would be no suffering. Without suffering, we would never learn from our mistakes. To make it right, pain and suffering is the key to all windows, without it, there is no way of life. The truth is I love being alive. And I love feeling free. So if I can't have those things then I feel like a caged animal and I'd rather not be in a cage. I'd rather be dead. It is not where you start out in life that counts the most, it is how you choose to face it. Different is good. When someone tells you that you are different, smile and hold your head up and be proud. If you ask people what they've always wanted to do, most people haven't done it. That breaks my heart. I am a strong believer that without justice, there is no peace. No lasting peace, anyway. If I didn't have my films as an outlet for all the different sides of me, I would probably be locked up. There's something about death that is comforting. The thought that you could die tomorrow frees you to appreciate your life now.